Hi everybody, another Sunday, another plugin, another guest. And I'm really proud that he is our guest today because I think most of the Reaper users already know him. Hello everyone, I am John from the Reaper blog and John from Toucan Studios has asked me to check out his new Compressor 3 plugin. This is a Reaper exclusive JS effect and Compressor 3 is a clean compressor. Let's check it out. So this is a stereo dual mono or mid side compressor. It has a clean structure, so it's not gonna add a lot of character, but it can add a lot of punch to your recordings. And I must say it has a really nice interface as well. When we're in stereo mode, the controls are linked between left and right. I believe the detection is also linked. Threshold will control left and right equally, as well as the ratio, output, bypass, attack, release, and knee controls. It has a great gain reduction graph, so it shows the waveforms as it's coming in and how much is being turned down. I had it here on the scope function, but if we turn that off, we see all of the parameters, current values, plus input, gain reduction, and output level, as well as the gain reduction curve that we would have from the compressor. So I'm gonna start this off playing some drums through here. I'm gonna bypass this plugin. Not overly dynamic, they are samples. There are one shots basically playing the same thing, but we can add some punch with this plugin. So I'm gonna turn this on the ratio, let's set it to uh, 2.8, sure. And we'll turn down the threshold until we see something happening. So even though this is a pretty clean compressor, I feel like we can get quite a bit of character from this anyways. You can click on the meter to reset the values. So at this point, I've got the threshold at like minus 30. And it's doing 13 dB of gain reduction. It doesn't sound bad. It doesn't sound like pumpy and distorted, but it is feeling a bit darker. So let's increase the attack. And the slowing down the release makes it move a lot more, which I like. So uh, the lowest value is 10 milliseconds, and we're gonna slow this down a little bit more. Let's hit the bypass to go back to the beginning. Starting point. Smacks a lot harder, bit quieter overall. I'm liking that a lot. Let's play with the knee control. The knee control basically allows some of the stuff near the threshold to be compressed at a lower ratio. So it's not as so uh, like on off kind of compression, only the loud things get a little bit of gain reductions, things around the threshold get compressed a little bit less. And uh, that can make it a lot more transparent. When you're going for punch, transparency isn't always what you want anyways. So um, I'm not hearing a big difference with this. For non-percussive stuff, this would make a big difference.
And there is a difference there. It's a little softer with the knee turned up or softened. Let's move on to trying out the dual mode. So if I switch on dual mode, the right side parameters all kind of reset. They're not linked to the other side anymore. So we do need to match the settings. Just my own opinion, I would like to see all the parameters at least start off with matching the left side channel, uh, the left side parameters, because I'm gonna have to match all of these uh, so I don't get a weird stereo image. I would like to see an unlinked compression mode, but with linked controls. So it's just the detector is independent on the left and right channels. Kind of a minor nitpick. It is a little annoying to move these six parameters to match the left side. Um, but yeah, but ultimately it does give us more flexibility this way. And I'll switch it to mid side mode. So mid side, if you don't know, is splitting up the signal into what is common in the left and right and what's different in the left and right. So what's common is basically the mono signal or the mid channel, and that's gonna be the kick and the snare. And the side will be the hi-hat that's panned a little bit and any other stereo information that's contained within those samples, any differences between the left and right channels. We've got a, a mid compressor working here. And I can basically set that the way that I had it before. And I'm gonna turn that side down so that we can listen to the side channel. And this is gonna sound out of phase because we're only listening to what's different Often that's like out of phase elements, reverbs and things, but it's gonna sound in phase when we combine it with the mid. So let's find a cool setting for the side. Pretty cool, I like this a lot. I forgot to show off the scope function, so let's let's do one more playthrough with that. And here we can see the difference between that mid signal and the side signal, the, what's common and what's different. So barely anything on this other side, which is why I have to have the threshold lower and the output gain higher. But if we switch to dual mode, you see that the waveforms are much more similar. So there you go, there's Compressor 3, a new plugin from Toucan Studios. It's free, it's just for us Reaper users. Check it out.